Hey guys, so it's me, Lego Leaf, which now I'm gonna here bring you another Lego Legends Achima review, and today we have Wax Pack Tracker. Say that five times fast. This set costs $30, it has 297 pieces, it's set number 70004. It's 8 through 14, and here's a front look at your box. Look at the back of your box. This set includes just one instruction manual with 76 pages of building. First up for the minifigures here is the Eagle Aquila, and this is a really great minifigure. He does, however, come in a speed door set and another set that's like $40, so he's a pretty common figure, but he's still fantastic. I absolutely love that axe piece right here, but let me take it off to get some better detail. Aquila just has some absolutely fantastic printing. I love that new armor piece that they're being using for these bird people, and he looks great from the front right there and let's look at him from the back see how the wings are attached on it's really cool i love those wing pieces there's a better look at his front torso printing and face printing i don't know if you can tell but he is wearing goggles so that's a little interesting feature there he is from the back with his double-sided face that he is not wearing goggles on so that's pretty cool here is our wolf minifigure this is winzar and he is exclusive as of right now but towards the spring he will be coming in a speeder set the ice tower one but he is still a fantastic looking minifigure Love his front torso printing, love the leg printing. I really like the look of his wolf head there. It looks really cool. Some big, intense scars, so he's just a really sweet looking fig. There's a better look at his face. He also has back printing and a double-sided face. Final figure here is Wax, and he is technically exclusive because he does come in a speed or set, the starter set, but in that set, he does not feature this silver armor piece, so that's kind of... He's exclusive in that way, but not really. He's a really great minifigure, though. I love the head piece there. He really just looks fantastic from the front. There's a better look at his front torso printing and face printing. He also has back printing and a double-sided face. Here is the wolf pack tracker thing. And this thing is really cool. It's the only wolf vehicle right now, so that's really interesting. Considering there's like 10 Jima sets, this is the only wolf vehicle that they have right now. So that's really interesting, but it's a really cool looking vehicle and it's definitely must have if you're a fan of the wolf guys. Now I love the face of the wolf that I tried to recreate here. Besides the fact of the eyes, you can definitely tell where the eyes are supposed to be, but there are no trains with some bricks there. So it just kind of looks a little bit hollow and empty to me, which I don't really like, but that's still really cool. And I love the mouth here because actually if you move these wheel pieces here, I don't know if you can tell, but the mouth does move up and down. So it has a nice chomping feature. These wheels don't always move on good surfaces, especially on completely flat, solid surfaces these wheels do not move well because they are made out of hard plastic I do believe however these are great new pieces and they do look really cool you can see little spikes there which is really nice some flame exhaust right there it looks really really cool not too much is really going on the back here but that's not really necessary detail just like Linux's lion vehicle this does have that cool like suspension effect which is a really nice added feature here is where the cockpit is. It's a little bit hard to access, but you can see in there there's a steering wheel. What I usually do is I move these pieces, which I guess are supposed to be like kind of ears or little eye slits, and then it's easier to put your minifigure in there like this, and you can see him in there right there. He fits pretty well. Unfortunately, though, there's no real good place to put their weapons. I know I'm sorry I forgot to randomly just show their weapons in the minifigure close-up, but those are the weapons, just a normal sword, and this very cool new sword here that's very much so like a... What's it say? It's Leonidas' sword from the other set. It's a very cool new sword mold. I really like that piece there, and that's really awesome. Of course, included with the set is the power of Chi powering this vehicle. And on the back is an interesting little feature. Now, this little chain piece in the back here is this little claw thing. I don't really know what this is supposed to be doing because it's kind of too small, really, to pick anything up. It does feature some nice pieces there. But you can reel this claw thing back in. And there's a nice little place. I'd like that Lego included this so the claw can kind of just slip in and stay in place. So that's a really cool added feature. But I don't really know what it's supposed to do. Maybe we'll figure that out later, but it's still pretty cool. Also, nice printed flag up here next to the giant cannon. And we all know how these giant cannons work. I really like these things. Basically, you just pull on that, and it does fire a really powerful blast, which is a whole lot cooler than some stupid old flick fire missile. So that's a nice little feature. All right, guys, so final verdict here on Wax Pack Tracker. This is a really cool set. It, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have eyes. That's my main problem with this set. It's just a really cool looking vehicle, and it's def it's the best way to get wolf minifigures, and it's the only wolf vehicle they have right now. Now, there will be more wolf vehicles coming in the summer, but right now, if you're a fan of the wolf tribe, this is the only way you can get a cool wolf vehicle, so that's pretty unique, unless you count the speeders, of course. It's a really cool looking set. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'd highly recommend it, and it's great for the price. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.